Hello YouTube, it is Kay from KG Creative. I bet you're getting tired of seeing this title card, but just so you know, I do have an Etsy, kgcreative.etsy.com or etsy.com slash shop slash KG Creative. I sell art prints and eventually I will do originals that look sort of like this. They look better than my nails, I can promise you that much. For example, I just got some prints uh, sent to me some that I ordered for my personal use. They're all in this little packy, and I'm gonna do a video um, opening these out and showing all what I got. So click here, I guess, to see that video. But moving on to what we're doing today. So I, I'm sure you've heard of the three marker challenge. You've got three Copic markers and you, you make a piece of artwork with the three Copic markers. That is an amazing challenge to do if you have Copic markers. If you do not, like myself, then you're kind of fresh out of luck for that because you don't even have one. Better yet, three. I mean, I have one somewhere. Um, but all my Copics are gray because I wanted to start out with grayscale to see if I even like the markers just so I could do black and white pieces. So all my Copics are gray. So the three marker challenge would be very boring and gray. So instead, I have adapted the three marker challenge to make it the three paints challenge. I have here an artist loft, uh, our artist's loft set of paints that it's 48 different colors. I have pulled out the blacks and the whites because um, to make it a little bit you know, because they're paints instead of markers uh, after I pull my colors I can choose to add either black or white so it'll actually be the four paint challenge. I can choose one of the two to add to you know, make the piece possible. Uh, another rule is if I get two of the following colors, red, blue, yellow, and green, if I get two of those colors, I will have to draw again and try again. And that's only the colors in their purest form. If I get like a pink and like a nasty forest green, that's fine. But if I get like straight up red, straight up green, gotta try again, because that's just giving me too much to work with. It's not just primary colors, I also include green, so that's what that is. Um, but in this paint, I have all the paints in this box. In here we got some wild colors, just so y'all can get an idea. Like this, for example, is gold. It's like actually shiny like gold. And this is silver. And I actually already have what we're painting oh, ugh, drawn in here. So I'm gonna have to find a way to make it to work. This is mostly just a challenge for myself to see if I can, you know, mess with some crazier colors and get a better final result, not better, but like a still acceptable final result. And also I'm not very good at painting in acrylic in general, but in landscapes. So of course I thought, well, I'll just paint a landscape. That makes sense. So, um, uh, three colors. Okay. We're going to pick three colors out of this walled bin. I got my eyes closed. I promise. Here we go. <laughs> I'm nervous. If I pull out silver, like, I really am done with life. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Okay, this color one. I'm going to just keep my eyes closed and do all three of them. Here is color two. Goodness. <laughs> oh, I don't like my odds right now. <laughs> I'm really scared they're all going to be ugly and I'm going to be screwed. And color three. Okay, let's see what I got. Oh, no. <laughs> Bronze. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm gonna paint this with bronze. And then I got blue and another blue. Wow. <laughs> it's not looking good. Okay, we have turquoise, cerulean blue, and bronze. I, I don't, mm, the color I'm gonna add to this is white. So I have titanium white and metallic white. We're gonna go with titanium. This is my lineup. This is about to be hideous. I'm about to paint the ugliest landscape of life. Just so I can see like what this would have been if I had better luck. I'm gonna do another draw. I'm still gonna use these colors to paint it, but I'm just gonna see if I get better colors the second time around. One and two and three. Um, much better, much better. Burnt Sienna. Ultramarine and Brilliant Red. I would have had to draw again because of these two, but this is just better in general. Anyways, let's get into what is about to be the most hideous landscape painting of life. I'm going to go ahead and start speeding the video up now so you all can watch me flounder. 
All right, so we are in with the painting. I didn't have my usual painting palette, which is actually a plastic plate, so I just used a cut vanilla folder to do the palette, and I ended up um, switching to a bigger bottle of white, like that one, yeah, So just so I would have more white, because you use a lot of white when you're painting. But um, the sky is a mixture of the um, cerulean blue and the white, and then the ground, which I'm doing now, is also cerulean blue and white, but it's obviously more blue and less white to make it darker. Uh, this is why it's important to have a white or a black if you decide to do this challenge yourself because just having cerulean blue, turquoise, and bronze would be kind of impossible because I have more than three like fields of space. Like I have the ground, the sky, the trees, and the water. That's four different things and I would have only had three colors and would have just been like nearly impossible to do. So I recommend adding a black or a white depending on which colors you get. If you get really light colors, add a black. If you get really dark colors, add a white. If you get something in the middle, you can pick. Um, the water that I'm doing right now is done with a mixture of the bronze and white, which made this sort of ugly gray parchment brownish shade. And then to do the shadows of where the water would fall, I just used straight up bronze, which kind of looks really cool when you pick up a page. You'll see this at the end and you can like move it in the light. Then here I'm doing the fall of the water off the side and creating some motion there. I'm not following my reference image verbatim here anymore because that would just be too much effort, take too long, and I don't care enough. Um, I, I was mostly just using it like to see like the big picture, but it's mixtures of the bronze and white. More white obviously for lighter areas and then some pure white and certain streaks and then the little puddles in the bottom to show where the water is splashing down. And then I repeat that concept on the second waterfall up top that is smaller with a smaller brush. Uh, this whole piece, I decided to do it. I said this at the beginning, but you might not have caught it because I'm not good at acrylic and I'm not good at landscapes. So I figured I'd hit two birds with one stone, practice both at the same time. And this is something I can absolutely recommend you guys doing. Some of my best pieces end up being the ones where I didn't feel confident in what I was doing. So I did a lot of research. I studied a lot. I worked very slowly and just the mixture of doing all that ended up working it out. I add some more moss to the edges to kind of like soften the edge from the water to the moss and then we begin the trees and painting the trees is done with the turquoise mixed with bronze um the more bronze the more highlighty it is <laughs> the more turquoise the more of a shadow it is and then doing the really skinny trees in the back like that one they ended up getting really thick because i just couldn't make them smooth and they just wouldn't cooperate so they're either like bumpy or super thick because they just were not in the mood to work with me and do what i wanted them to and I also had issues having enough paint on the brush to create the trees. But I'm going in with the leaves. They're all sort of in a triangular pattern. It's a little strange, but I'm just following my reference image and it ends up looking like something. And the leaves are the same situation. Um, the turquoise and the bronze. I did add a little bit of the cerulean blue in that big tree off to the left, but it's mostly turquoise and bronze. And then a little extra bronze for shine. And again, when you pick up the page and rotate it, it looks kind of cool. And then I added in... Um, some leaves before I added the trees because I just could see better where the empty space was once I had painted it. Okay, and this is what we've <laughs> come up with. Um, my painting palette, my mixing palette, whatever, is mostly off screen. But basically, the water is chrome and what, what? No, it's bronze. Bronze is the paint color. Bronze and white. The like ground and the sky are. Um, cerulean blue and white and the trees are turquoise and bronze and that's that's how this <laughs> was created i don't think i'm a little bit losing my voice i don't think it really looks like much of anything like the waterfall it just looks like dirty nasty water honestly and it's just kind of like what and the ground is like what and the trees are like what <laughs> it's all kind of confusing and terrible but i'll just go ahead and Post the final picture of our my you didn't of, of my creation it took about an hour to complete I'd say and it's just pretty subpar. Um, I will sign it though. I never signed my work because I was never allowed to in class. But I'll sign it now. You have a fine tip sharpie. Mm. Yay, I signed my garbage. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all next time. Um, make sure to check my Etsy, kgcreative.etsy.com. And until then, doodly